Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing nails. It's my first time doing press on nails. I've never done this before. And we're going to be using these nails from Static Nails. That's the name of the company. And look at these tips. I really, really, really liked these tips. And I got mine from Ulta and I'm going to insert the price up here. I don't remember how much they were. And the lady there told me that these are pretty good nails. I said, okay, I'm going to try them. You get two rows. Okay, so you get that. Yes, you get two rows. And then you get a buffer, and a nail file, and glue. And she told me to use the glue that comes with these nails because it is hardcore. I cut them short a little bit. I don't like my nails too, too long because I'm not going to be able to type when I'm working. So let's go ahead and size up our nails. Got this one. I think that looks good. I like the feel of these nails. They're not very thick because I don't like them very, very thick. Even when I was, when I used to do ac acrylics them days, which I don't do anymore, they were pretty thick and I don't like that. So I'm gonna, so I've already checked this, the sizes over here and right now I'm gonna soak my fingers in hot water just to soften up, warm water, <laughs> just to soften up the cuticle as much as I can because I'm gonna push it. Um, I try not to cut my cuticle. I feel like it's there for a reason, obviously, to protect the nail. All right, I'm done with that. I'm gonna push down my cuticles using this cuticle pusher. The instructions say to put, you can, um, not you can, apply the nail polish remover after you buff your nails. If you have oily nail beds, I'm gonna do that anyway because I want this to last as long as possible. So I'm gonna use this to buff my nails. Um, the one they came with is kind of wow, it's really rough. So I'm gonna use this, and I don't remember where I bought this from, but I'm gonna buff this. I'm gonna use the nail polish remover, like they instructed. This uh, remover has acetone. I saw um, one lady you did this method just to protect her nails, and I also saw Jackie Aina doing this. They use the nail hardener. This one is. Uh, nail protein I hope this works but it kind of just protects your natural nail which I love my own natural nails but you know sometimes you just get tired of doing nails and they put in a coat of this and let it dry and then put on the glue that comes with the nails on top alrighty let's start off with the pinky always start with the Oh, they have numbers. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. That's a number eight. Right there. And let's see what the big one is. The big one is number two. They said let the nail get, I mean the nail, let the glue get tacky a bit. Okay. And then apply. All right, so I'm gonna put a little glue on my nail. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Say it, hold on for 30 seconds, plus ensuring the entire nail receives pressure. That's it. Oh wow, that's cute. Next. I got tired of squeezing that bottle so I grabbed a pair of hemostat. I bought this from the medical place, I'm a nurse. So hemostats, once you, whatever you squeeze them in they lock on that they don't cut they just grab and I just got tired of squeezing this bottle because I have another whole hand to go through so once you 
whatever you squeeze on like that you hold it in and it's much easier even to apply the glue with make sure it's aligned well all the way down looks good and apply pressure but I really am loving this. I didn't know how I would feel about press-ons at all, honestly. But so far, so good. So I'm just going to get that glue, as you can see back there, and just wipe it off. And it, it's gone. Beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm in love. So just grab the glue. Put it on there like that. And squeeze. As, as soon as you squeeze this thing, it's going to come out. And that's it guys we are done 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 I love them oh my goodness this is such a beautiful set I did get some glue on the nails uh, you can see it might not be too visible on camera but I can see it and I think they said to use just to use the, the nail polish remover and it's gonna come out I'm just a little bit wary right now hopefully it doesn't you know like remove the shiny gloss which I tried it didn't mess it up but I think I'm just gonna try maybe the q-tip and do that my battery is about to die so I want to finish this before it does thank you so much guys for watching this is a pretty good hack um, that I, I just thought about so grab this it's gonna save you from squeezing this thing out all the time don't forget to share this video give me a thumbs up and please subscribe it's gonna help me a lot thank you so much guys bye hey guys so this is day three of the nails uh, so you can see that they still look good to me uh, just a little bit of a few scuffles and I will be back after a week so we can do nail check this is a week and three days as you can tell my nail has started growing already but the longevity has stayed none of them has popped off let me show you my right hand i'm right-handed i thought some one of them would have popped off by now um no they have survived i thought maybe like this part will chip out the you know the the nail or the ink what is this the painting i don't know what this is the green part i thought that would have come out because I've washed dishes a cup or two or a plate or two. Yeah, I'm using my hands. But if I have like a pot, I've really been using gloves just so that I could see, you know, if this really works. And <laughs> I'm impressed. And this is just like my nail because this was uh, the same length as my nail. So that's that, that was my fault right there. But overall, I would repurchase this brand. And again, I got these from Alta. Bye and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video, to share it, to subscribe. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.